Hello boys, my name is Kuliyoshi. Welcome back to my blind playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for Switch with the Japanese voices enabled. In the last video we left off doing a bunch of excess stuff, mostly just going in and doing some battles. And we had to battle against our friends for some reason, but anyways, we met the Architect finally and now... We have a single goal, the intent to stop Malice and rid this world of his base once and for all. Because, well, Malice is just mean, and that's what it is. So, before I do that, I'm going to tell you that I still haven't changed my strategy. I'm still going with Nia in the front. I probably would have just gone with Rex for this part, typically, but I feel like... Yeah, we'll be doing other stuff. Otherwise, the party hasn't changed. We're gonna stick with this team. As far as I'm aware, this team is like the best team I could find for this game. And while Tora and Zeke did have their times, I think we have um, done a bit too much stuff. So I think now it's time to do more stuff. I already saved up till this. So. I guess the only big thing we can do now is head down to here and change uh, Rex's setup back to aggressive. Because we had to give him double dexterity stuff just to get him good. But now we can uh, put his strength boosting one back on, which is this. Let's do that. It's actually important that... Vex has a strength boosting item if he wants to do more damage. And like, I'm still just keeping dexterity and health on. Alright. So, now we get to finally fight Malos again. Although, I feel like we've done this before and now we actually get to fight Malos. And we see these beams being launched on the world. Trying to destroy everything. Are all those sirens? We need to hurry, yeah, exactly. Let's hurry up. We have no time for a waltzy around. We need to hurry through this. Massive hainer filled with stuff. I did check weapons just to make sure we are good. But, um, I didn't find anything that's bad, as far as I'm aware. Mm. Well, then. Apparently, you're supposed to go a little bit slightly upward. Okay, now. Oh, we just need to keep on following this shot. Uh... Whew. Long way up. Long way down as well. Oh, we have to go up here anyway. Oh, that's nice. Good. Alright. 
sure there's no hidden other stuff. So far, it's just nothing but heart to hearts so far. I promise I will go back and get some of the heart to hearts I missed if I have like an extra video, but that's if I even have an extra video. I think I might be focused more on Tora and the Golden Fan tree after all. Oh, here it is. If you open this door, there'll be no turning back. Failing a bow must mean will mean restarting from tile screen. Your game will be saved before the final bow against. Oh yeah, it is one of those. Ooh. So this is uh, the classic big battle, where if we mess up this time, we actually straight up just get sent back to the title saying. Uh, the game has never done that before. You definitely want to save there. Alright. <laughs> I've waited a long time to do this. Gotta at least give it a shot, man. Alright. <laughs> なんだか熱。<笑> ダメてんじゃねえぞ、コド。ブレイドがアルスになるとか。If they do actually make us redo this cutscene because of our stuff, I'll probably just skip it because uh, I have the cutscene skipper. If that doesn't work, then I might have to level up a bit more, but I think I'm around the level that you should be anyway. I guess this would probably be where we do uh, put our darkness resist. Uh, this is gonna be the final battle we have to battle. Oh, 
Potions went. Can't even attack. Oh, I guess. Oh, we need to go for these guys now. Alright. We have to take out this guy first, I guess. Or let us do anything else. Alright, got him out of the way. I don't think he's letting us attack again. Alright, now we are finally able to attack him again. Oh, it nullified our heal. That's a new one. So now our healing moves don't do anything for a bit. That's annoying. That's actually new. I've never seen that happen before yet. Whatever, we need to keep our combo going. I know he's white, but we need to still die and do something to him. No, Bob. Oh! He just faded out of his essence. So that was just his first part, though, probably. We didn't have to delete all of his HP, he just kind of went away. Ah, so this is just the first phase. This is just the first phase. Now, this is a big battle so far. Oh, 
I don't know if we still keep our combos or not. We might, but we might not. I don't know. Uh, I like how that's why that I like how why this while this battle is going on we have all the towns just burning around us. This is ridiculous. All the areas we spent protecting they're gonna be destroyed by the time this is done. Wait, if he's supposed to be a darkness face enemy, then why does it say he's weak to darkness? I think this Terry face is like. Alright. This is this is gonna be the real phase coming up, because that's what RPGs have been. Typically, there are two final battles, not just one. There's one before. standing there. Can we not just wait for him to go in? Oh, there he is. Alright, we need to go over and get these. That's the only way we're gonna get any health potions. Oh, that wizard thing is one of the worst. I still need to pick up the potions though, so I can do extra damage. Alright, we need to heal now, and then go for this again. I feel like the damage did reset on this, so we're gonna have to do all the combos again. Unless this doesn't do a lot. Oh, no, we did. Could we just do a flame combo twice? 
maybe we should just do that. If he's darkness helmet, it might be easier to just do flame combo types. Oh, that alone took him out. See, this is what I mean about Preset being so overpowered. You just use one... We did nothing but use one level, one special, and that was enough to just outright take him out. Oh, now he's weak to I8. All of a sudden. Oh, great. Siren Buster's coming again. It's a good thing we keep that heal up at all times. Oh, my goodness, you jerk. Come on, Mr. Mammals, just come on and face me already, like a man. I was about to say, is just gonna stay back there that entire time while we struggle against your attacks? He's weak against light, so that would be the ideal time to do that. Alright. Whenever we finish the setup, I think we need to chain attack. Although we have to wait for the Shack of Light to go away. There we go. Oh, we got it right as he's trying to attack us. Did that- did we just invulnerability for his attack? I have no idea. Let's see. 300,000! Okay, that's a lot. Do that as a safety, but I think we're to, we just have to go for the chain now. All right, let's do it. Let's finish him off with the chain attack. We're gonna do water first, so we can break the water one first. So we'll do that. Um, hmm. Oh great, let's use air. That's the only thing I don't have. I thought I had a water, but hmm, I must have lost it. Okay, we'll use the Aegon instead. Guarantee that that gets broken. Now we do flame all the way. Flame again. Another elemental burst. Jeez, that was a quick attack. Alright, I think we're about to get him with this Corvin. Wait, that means Corvin, the cool blade, is gonna be the one to deliver the final blow. Yep. He finished single handedly finished off Farfish Aeon. This is why Corvin is the best character in this game. <laughs> I'm just jetting. I think Crescent is probably better, although they're both equally good. And a little bit of egg and on for the final blow, and there we go. Whoa, we got like 80k experience from him. That was cool. All right, is it now? Is this the end? That's the real question. We got some experience from it, which is nice. And now the sword is becoming even our sword is becoming even bigger. I wonder if it is faster to do a triple attack. I don't know. I just didn't want to waste risk using Nia as a blade and not having the healing for this battle because you kind of need healing for these battles. So I think I was right to put Nia as a driver. Although after what we saw there. This, this battle wasn't as difficult as I thought, probably because I actually did the grinding properly.
It's probably supposed to be more difficult, but with Nia as a driver with Corset, it just makes it so much easier. I imagine without DLC, this would be much more difficult. At one point, I played without the DLC, but I just brought them in later because I was like, oh, actually, they're pretty strong. All right. This is the last gift I could offer you. The rest is up to you, my children. Right, so he's free of worlds back now. But what about Valus? <laughs> These big massive robots are in the meanwhile, these big robots are still in all the other places. Waiting to <laughs> so now they just kinda shut off. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it's oh it's over, Mouse, you've lost. And look his core crystal is cracked yet again. That's there's the proof, Mouse is not himself again, because his core crystal is... ふん。ミツ。もっと早くお前に出会ってたなら。いろんな世界が見えたんだろうな。だが、それでも、俺があんたのドライバーだったら、そうすれば。And he's going to vanish. It's enough in this. He finally found it, a meme to his life. Wonder if I'll find mine. <laughs> So that's the last battle, right? Valus has been taken out, so what more can happen? <laughs> watch this be like, um... Uh, watch this be like, uh, for the, uh, live a live and somebody else just comes out and be like, Actually, I've been the evil opponent the entire time, and all this, all that you did was just for nothing. Anyway, I don't know what's going to happen. If we do have to face our opponent, at least we got experience from this guy. Oh. This place is getting destroyed all of a sudden. All the Legium will collapse. What? Oh, 
There has to be a way to stop it. There is one way. Just one way to prevent it. Five stories down from here. There's a control room for the connection erection boosters. If we can fire the booster jets and accelerate the world tree beyond escape velocity, then maybe we could save it. I'm just gathering that we gotta get there and fast. Please tell me this isn't Metroid over and over again. That would be bad. Oh, please let this not be a Metroid escape sequence. Holy crap. If this is if this is anything like Metroid's that day, it's gonna be so terrifying. Cause, as you know, Metroid, you have to escape from the plan afterwards. At this rate, it's gonna be like that. Oh, goodness. Sadness. Oh, my soul. Okay, they're just going on their own so far. Alright. Single-handedly cut off the bridge with just a little bit of our Wait, what is she doing to herself? You all need to use one of those escape vessels and get as far away as possible. What? Hana! 
ですもん<笑>できませんもんできないってなんで約束なんですもんホムランレックスが必ず花を頼るもんって絶対手を貸しちゃダメもんって何でそんなこと頼むお願いだ俺をあっちへ連れて行ってくれるだけでいいんだそしたらみんなはここをレックスちょっとだけほらあそこに行くだけでいいからうん私は先輩にそこにレックスちちっちゃん男なら背を向ける覚悟も必要じゃなんでなんであの子の願いを叶えてやれちっちゃんまあいつまでも子供じゃおれへんで惚れた女の気持ち受け止めてやらんかいそれが大人になるっちゅうのでオッケーレックス君たちとの出会いに礼を言いたい Where's she gone? <laughs> right, she's gonna use the set of power to destroy that. Oh.
five minutes. Showed me the way, X. <laughs> All right. Well, we just escaped the escape buzz and a big deal. Turned into a dragon at the last second. Honestly, it's kind of crazy saying that Elysium is literally more or less just a space dome space station. That's about it. Nothing left to this but ruins? Oh, great. Well, this is definitely out of the game, as far as I'm aware. So I was right about that.
This is different. The Titans are starting to hook up to something. What is this? What is this? They're all coming down. <laughs> My goodness, this has been a pretty exciting game so far. And just so you know, if I am doing the next storyline, since I still have time with our stuff, I think I already mentioned, but I'm going to play this game's DLC next. I may as well get it done now while I have it, because is, this isn't all the DLC that there is. There's actually, like, a full-on main actual DLC game, which, of course, is much shorter than this, but still decently long, probably. Right. Right. I see your class map by restoring the world, uh, I don't know. So they're coming back so that they can, uh, uh, they can make the world return to normal. This is a very long ending, by the way. We started no more than 15 minutes ago, and it's still going on. It's typical of JRPGs, though. They typically go on, have long endings. We're finally here. Alright. All right, there's the, yeah, there's the text. Oh, and it shows you both, uh, both the English and Japanese voices side by side, which is nice. It also shows all the blade cast that asks for the different blades as well. Look at all the characters are in this game, that's crazy. Monolith Software. Monolith Soft was the inner deltas. Uh, it's kind of weird that they... Oh, Bandai Namco also developed this a bit too. Or helped at it. Uh, helped, helped with it. I will say, I think I enjoyed this game as much as I thought. And to be fair, I was going to probably play this at some point anyways. After playing Xenoblade 1 and finding out that there's multiple other games, I figure better to write than ever. <laughs> now, there is a game that did come before this one called Xenoblade X, but whether or not I'll play that is up to you guys. If you want to see that, you may want to leave a like on this video, comment, rate, subscribe, do all that stuff. Maybe I'll play that at some point. If I played that, I'd probably have to get a different capture card, because my capture card right now, I think, only works for the Switch, and although I do have the Wii U, which is what you need to play Xenoblade X. Who knows though, maybe there will be a release of it in the future. 
maybe I'll maybe get to Rio Lisa and we could just play it then. So far, I think this was pretty unique RPG. It had some nice specs on it, and the combo aspect was pretty cool. I liked it. How you could just do lots of damage in quick succession by comboing moves into each other. I think I finally understand what the combat's designed around. Basically, just you chat for a bit and it takes a bit to build up stuff, but then when you know what you're doing, you can just combo moves into each other. Like, you can break and topple an enemy and then just combo one special into another to just do a lot of damage in quick succession. And then, after that, you can do other stuff. And then, after that, you can couple that into other moves, potentially, and then throw a teen attack on top of it, and just do a lot of damage in quick succession. At first, it seems like it takes a while to build it up, but once you know what you're doing, you can actually build up couples really fast in this game, and then just at least other stuff. Honestly, I feel like if I had not seen how useful certain pouch items were early on, I think I would have struggled with this more, but we found a way to make it through anyway. been a fun ending so far, huh? It's pretty cool how the world just changed in a matter of minutes. Yeah, that's about all I have to say here. Uh, so in the Golden Country will be next, I guess. What's this? The gems come back to life all of a sudden. They've been there this entire time. Right, he kept his core crystal. They just came back just in time. Alright. 
Okay. And yes, in case you're wondering, as a tradition in JRPGs, the game is not truly over until you see the infamous text at the end pop up. That's what we're waiting on, in case you're wondering. Oh, and uh, does this first. And thus, boy met girl. <laughs> I was gonna show this first, uh, Monolith Soft. <laughs> well, that was it, I think. Offers of the software and purpose of the right. 2017 this was made, so it's been like five years almost since this came out. Yeah, all right. Wow. Wow, that was a lot. And just so you know, because we did the thing, we can do New Game Plus now. So, New Game Plus will carry over driver levels, equipment advancement, and driver blades, bonded blades, attained gold and items, area development levels, and marker rank as well, event peters, and unique monster deep as as well as playtime. Bond with certain blades. Initial features in New Game Plus. Bond with certain blades from Torna. Meet certain blades from Torna in the game world and bond with them. All blades can be dispatched on Merc missions. Unlock driver's hidden abilities. Develop them further. Lower character levels when resting on an inn and pocket the XP difference as bonus XP. Exchange bonus XP from special items. Unlock Seek's Eye of Shining Dusters. All quests, heart to hearts, and skip travel points will be reset. Completed Murph missions will be reset. If a current dispatch blade is necessary for a story progression, they will be removed from the Merc group to do a mission. <laughs> to gauge with Max Swap using his Master Driver ability at the game's end, will return to their original driver. Rock, Agnon, and the Unquiet Coin Crystal will be made available again as the story progresses. When you save again, Ave after starting New Game Plus, save data for your first playthrough will be overwritten. Alright. So that's if we were to do that, but I don't... Honestly, <laughs> we've done a lot already. So, that's the end of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This has been a very exciting playthrough so far. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment, right, subscribe. I'll see you guys in... The next video where we maybe attempt Torna the Golden Country. Until then, see you guys later. Bye.